the DNA signature. If you have not watched Bible Numerics Part 4, please do so before you watch this video for a better understanding. A numerical analysis of the genetic coding revealed in the DNA of living cells and how it relates to the numerical structures in the biblical scriptures of Genesis chapter 1 verse 1, Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4, and the Gospel of John chapter 1 verse 1. The proton matrix will be rotated by 45 degrees. Now, 320 plus 192 plus 376 is 888, which is 24 by 37, the value of Jesus. Next, 888 plus 144 plus 192 plus 256 is 1480, which is 40 by 37, the value of Christ. The title of Jesus in the New Testament is the word value of 373. Therefore, 296 plus 128 plus 288 plus 300 plus 256 plus 224 is 1,492, which is 4 by 373, the value of word. Now 1,492 is the value of the prophecy of Isaiah, chapter 9, verse 6, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Finally, 300 plus 160 plus 320 plus 252 is 1032, which is 12 by 86. And 86 is the Hebrew value of God. The symmetry gives an astonishing result about the deity. Also, the number of atoms in the 64 triplets of all the amino acids is 1147, which is 31 by 37. These values are direct factors of John 1 verse 1 and Genesis 1 verse 1. Genesis 1 verse 1, 2701, is 37 by 73. Deuteronomy 6 verse 4, 1118, is 13, by 86. John 1 verse 1, 3627, is 39, by 93, and is also, 3, by 13, by 31, by 3. All this symmetry in the amino acids, nucleon, and proton count, proves beyond any reasonable doubt, that random forces, did not create fire on Earth was created by an intelligent source. To deny this shows almost invincible prejudice against anything spiritual. What conclusions can we draw from the study of these numerical factors in the DNA codons? It all shouts, designed and created by God. The most interesting phenomena are the numbers of creation, which are 7, 13, 26, 39, and especially 37, which are all demonstrated in the counting of the nucleons and protons in the 20 amino acids. You would not expect this kind of symmetry to exist in a universe created by the blind forces of nature. The data shows even the invention of zero and the existence of the decimal system. Remember you have by design, 10 fingers and 10 toes. The structure of the number of nucleons shows a match Jesus to the network. network, but the very hairs of your head are all numbered. The scriptures, Genesis 1 verse 1, John 1 verse 1, and Deuteronomy 6 verse 4, give the details of creation and the nature of the Godhead. They all agree numerically with the factors displayed in the nucleons of the amino acids. I call to your attention that these discoveries have been made by scientists who do not have the knowledge of the numerical data of the Bible. 
it is appreciated that it is difficult to follow all this arithmetic, but you can generally understand the point of this numerical symmetry in both scripture and the DNA codons. God is the author of both. The following video is published by Harvard University and shows the immense complexity of the inner workings of the living cell. You do not have to understand all that is shown, but you will be impressed by the, the enormous sophistication of the intelligent design. The obvious truth of intelligent design is to be found in the... The video shows walking proteins called kinesin motors that walk down the microtubules delivering proteins to different parts of the cell. Microtubules provide tracks along which membrane-bound vesicles travel to and from the plasma membrane. The directional movement of these cargo vesicles is due to a family of motor proteins linking vesicles and microtubules. This protein really does walk down the microtubules. Nobody in their right mind could believe this system of transportation could have evolved by random forces. There can be no natural selection because unless all the parts are there, it will not work and the cell will die. To ascribe this structure to the random movement of molecules requires an incomprehensible irrational. Every living thing, from bacteria, plants, animals, and even man, that has ever existed, requires energy, just as electrical machines require electricity. The energy of living cells is contained in the ATP molecule. This protein molecule gives its energy to all processes within the cell. After the energy is exhausted, the ATP changes to molecule ADP. ATP, discovered in 1929 by chemist Carl Lohmann and continues in 1997 to scientists Paul Boyer and John Walker discovered how ADP is converted back to ATP to be recycled. The structure they found was a molecular motor. This is illustrated in the above animation. This chemical motor is so small that you can get 200,000 on up in head. Every cell in your body contains these tiny motors. If these motors did not exist, all living things would die. Here is the actual image of the molecular motor taken by an electron microscope. The scientists then attached a fluorescent filament to the shaft of the motor. This was filmed and here is the spinning protein motor. To continue, every living cell needs energy. The energy source is the ATP molecule, created from the ADP molecule, by a multi-protein spinning molecular motor. The motor makes three molecules per revolution, at 6,000 revolutions per minute. 1,000 million million motors, are needed, to make, up to one ton of ATP, which your body needs each day. Each motor, has 31 separate proteins, which in turn, are made of 3,000 amino acids, which contains 40,000 atoms. It is irrational to suggest that such sophisticated, incredibly ingenious, irreducibly complex, ultra-miniaturized, brilliantly designed machine could be the result of its chance, chance of reckless thinking to believe that this motor is a product of evolution and not created by an intelligent mind because creation by natural selection of this motor is impossible. If there is no motor there is no life. Richard Dawkins said that the creator of his world could ingeniously encode a signature in its design. You might find evidence for that if you look at the, um, at the details, details of biochemistry, molecular biology, you might find a signature of some sort of designer. The signature has been left in Genesis, the Gospel of John, and the DNA molecule. This numeric signature is there for all to see, if only they had eyes to see with. 
3, 7, 13, 28, 31, 37, 39, 73, and especially 2,701, 37, by 73. The running time, for the full DVD, with three different lectures, is three, and a half hours. To purchase the DVD, see website for details, www.biblemaths.com, or, email peter at biblemaths.com. On eBay, use keywords, creation, evolution, to purchase the book, or the DVD.